Hello, Cappuccino. I have been asked to go over problem number five from our differential equations homework. And I actually got it from our textbook on page 518. It was actually problem number eight. So here it is. The number of bacteria in a liquid culture is observed to grow at a rate. Okay, so positive. It's going to be increasing because it's growing and we got a rate. So that means I need a derivative proportional. So it's going to be K times something. It's not inversely proportional. Proportional to the number of cells present. Okay, so the bacteria is cells. Bacteria is cells. And it is growing proportional to the number of cells that it already has. Okay, at the beginning of the experiment, there are 10 to the fourth cells. And after three hours, there are three times 10 to the fifth cells. Calculate the number of bacteria after one day of growth if this rate of growth continues. And then determine the doubling time. Alrighty, so we have, we want to write um, a differential equation. So we have that we have a rate and it is of the bacteria growing over time. So this is problem number five from your worksheet. So we're going to have the derivative is going to, I'm going to call it dB dt. I could have used dc dt for cells, c for cells, but I use c as the constant of integration. So I don't want to get confused with the letter c. So I'm going to use the letter b. And I know that it is proportional and it's growing, so my k is positive, not negative. It's not decreasing, it's increasing. Proportional to the amount of cells, that is the amount of bacteria. Okay, so you need to understand that the cells are the bacteria. They're one and the same. So we only have um, our variables in here is bacteria and time. We don't have any other variables. We just have our proportionality, blah, 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 our constant of proportionality. Okay. So that's it. That's pretty much all I got to write for my differential equation. But of course, now I'm going to have to solve it. I'm going to have to integrate. I'm going to have to separate my variables. I'm going to have to integrate it. And I'm going to have to solve for my constant of integration. So my other information that I have is that it told me at the beginning of the experiment. So at the beginning, that would be time is zero. So at time zero, there are 10 to the fourth cells. And it tells me at three hours, there's three times 10 to the fifth cells. So that's important information. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve it. So I want to separate my variables. So I'm going to get my B's to the left and my T's to the right. So I'm going to have DB over B is equal to K DT. And this, I like rewriting it as 1 over B, dB. And on the right, um, I'm just going to keep that, K dT. So notice I'm going to integrate it in respect to T on this side, and I'm going to integrate it in respect to B on this side. So integrate that side, integrate this side. And I am integrating in respect to T. K is just a constant. So when we integrate a constant in respect to T, I get T. Okay, and I'm going to keep my k. And then here on the left, 1 over b, well, that would be natural log of b. And then I add on my constant of integration. All right, so now we want to write a function by getting b by itself. So this is a base e, so I can rewrite this as e to the kt plus c is equal to b. And then I can, um, oh, nifty little trick. If I have a plus sign in my exponent here, I can rewrite this with the base repeated. This is the same as e to the kt times e to the c. That all equals b. Because e to the c now, that's just a constant, right? That's just uh, my constant of integration basically is e to the c. Okay, and now I can go ahead and substitute in my numbers here to try and solve for k and c. I got to solve for k and c. So I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to substitute in 0 and 10 to the fourth. And when I do that, 0 is my t and 10 to the fourth is my b. So I'm going to have 10 to the fourth. Still have e to the c 
And here, e to the k times t is 0. Oh, isn't that lovely? e to the 0, k times 0 is 0. e to the 0 is just 1. So 1 times e to the c. So now I've solved for e to the c. It's 10 to the 4th. And um, that's it. I don't need to solve separately for c because that is just going to replace this whole thing. Okay, once I have it as e to the c, that's just going to replace that whole thing. So now I'm going to rewrite my equation again, my function, rather. I'm going to go ahead and write the number of bacteria first. So here's my b equals, and then I'm going to write my e to the c because I like to have my coefficient first. There's my e to the c times e to the kt. Ah, oh, nice. Looking good. Okay, so now let's substitute in the other number that we know. We know at three hours, we have three times 10 to the fifth bacteria, and this should help us solve for K because I'm replacing again the T and the B. So for my B, I have three times 10 to the fifth is equal to 10 to the fourth. E to the T is three, so K times three is three K. So now I'm gonna divide both sides by 10 to the fourth. So 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the 4th is just 10. So I'm left with 3 times 10. Okay, so this is going to cancel with this, but there's going to be one left over, right? So 3 times 10 is going to be 30 equals e to the 3k. And now to solve that, I need to take the natural log of both sides. So natural log of 30 is equal to the natural log of e to the 3k. I can bring my 3k down in front. Natural log of e, thankfully, just equals 1, because e to the first is e. So that just equals 1. So that goes away. 1 times 3k is just 3k. Now I can divide both sides of the equation by 3, and I get k is equal to natural log of 30 divided by 3. Just for, for fun, though, I'm going to read, I'm going to write this as one third times natural log of 30. Because um, I've done this before, I practiced this problem, and when I wrote all divided by 30, it just looked really big and cumbersome because I now need to put this back here. I need to put it back on my function so I can keep using my function. Okay, because now we're ready to finally solve question A, which is how much bacteria will there be after one day? Okay, I had to get my equation first before I could solve the problem. All right, so here I go. Now I'm ready to solve question A because I have my equation. The amount of bacteria is equal to 10 to the fourth times E to the K is one third natural log of 30 times T. All right, so now I want to know um, how much bacteria there is after one day. Well, remember, this was given to us in hours. Remember when we were solving this, this was given to us, this initial information was given to us in hours after three hours. So one day is equal to 24 hours. So T is going to be equal to 24. So I'm going to have B is equal to 10 to the fourth E to the one third natural log of 30 times 24. Okay, uh, 24 divided by three is eight. So B is equal to 10 to the fourth E to the eight natural log of 30. And then I can put that into my calculator. And when I do, I get the lovely answer of, where's my answer? I get 6.56 times 10 to the 15th, okay? You will get that if you put this into your calculator. All right, so that was part A, okay, part B says, um, how long will it take for the, what's the doubling time? In other words, how long will it take for the bacteria to double? Okay, at the start, there's 10 to the fourth bacteria. So it'll be doubled when there's two times 10 to the fourth bacteria. So I know the amount of bacteria is going to be two times 10 to the fourth, and I want to solve for T this time. So again, I'm going to take my equation, and I'm going to have uh, two times 10 to the fourth is going to be equal to 10 to the fourth e to the one third natural log of 30 times t. Okay, I can divide both sides by 10 to the fourth. That goes away. I'm running out of room here. Let me move this down. 
So I'm left with 2 equals e to the 1 third natural log 30 times t. My variable is in the exponent, so take the natural log of both sides. Bring this all down front. Natural log of e is just 1, so that's just going to go away. So I'm going to be left with natural log of 2 is equal to 1 third natural log of 30 times t. I, probably I should be putting the t in front. That's kind of confusing looking. But anyway, um, to get the t by itself, just divide natural log of 2 by all of this. So natural log of 2 divided by natural log of 30. And when I divide by 1 third, that's the same as multiplying by 3. And that's going to give me t. And if you put that into your calculator, you get 0 0.611. And there it is. That is the solution.